Frank Mather's name is synonymous with the American Hockey League. During the 1940s and 50s, Mathers played three years with the Toronto Maple Leaf organization before becoming an American Hockey League all-star defenseman with the Hershey Bears. Frank was an excellent athlete. He was, he was a, an outstanding uh, defenseman in the American Hockey League. I think the unfortunate part for Frank was that uh, at the time that he joined the Toronto Maple Leafs organization, they had such a wealth of talent on defense that uh, Frank was just really never given an opportunity to play in the National Hockey League. Had he belonged to any other team, he probably would have been called up and, and, and become a standout in the National Hockey League. In the American Hockey League, Frank is, was, was voted as the all-star defenseman five consecutive years in a row with the Pittsburgh Hornets, and that record still stands. When the Pittsburgh Hornets suffered financial losses, Frank Mathers was sold to the Hershey Bears, filling a role as player coach. In 1962, he retired and turned his total concentration to coaching the Bears. He won three league championships. He was very successful not only as a player coach, but when he went behind the bench, and eventually he... I would have to say that during Frank's regime, the Hershey Bears were probably the most winningest hockey club in the American Hockey League by far. Frank was a, a, a very, very dedicated person. Uh, I, I remember... Uh, former players making comments about him and uh, uh, I remember that they all said that Frank was believed in winning through consistency and through total dedication. Frank wasn't the type that you know, he hated to lose. Frank was one of the winningest coaches and he certainly hated to lose but he was the type of person that even when he lost he didn't shout and scream at the players. All he just did, he just would very quietly say well we'll get him the next time. Patience behind the bench led to patience in the boardroom when in 1973, Frank was named president and GM of the Hershey squad. The Bears captured three more Calder Cups, emblematic of supremacy in the AHL. When Frank started in, in his administrative capacities, he was the same way. He, he, he believed in what he wanted to do, uh, but he didn't shout and scream to get it. He just, in his own quiet manner, uh, made his suggestions, made his points very, very clear, and emphasized them uh, with good logic and many, many of his recommendations were accepted. Everyone that played under Frank admired him, and uh, they, they all felt that he, he was the type of man that they would want to, to uh, you know, show them or, or deal with them or direct their activities, and uh, he was certainly respected by everyone. Frank Mathers retired following the 1990-91 season. A goodwill ambassador to the American Hockey League, Frank Mathers has earned his place in the Builders category of the Hockey Hall of Fame.